Hi, I'm Robert from NorthlandExpress.com and we're going to show you how to make a better mouse trap. Now you can make these out of ordinary materials. What you'll need is a five gallon bucket, a piece of wood that we use for a ramp, and I pounded a couple nails in there to keep it from sliding off the bucket. This is where the mice will run up. You'll need a dowel rod. I just happen to have this one. Actually a little smaller diameter works a little better because the can will rotate on it better. And you need a coffee can and what we do is we drill a hole in each end of the coffee can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then we drill a hole in the five gallon bucket on both sides and we take the coffee can and we line it with peanut butter all the way around and then I happen to put some corn on there but you don't have to use the corn it's just mice love corn and they love peanut butter so both I figured will work better. <clears throat> you take and you run the dowel rod through the can and out through the other side of the bucket. And what you get here is a, uh, a can that rotates on here and what, what the mice do is they run up here, they jump on the can to feed and they flip off and what we do is we put about two inches of water in the bottom. So the mice go in the bottom of the bucket and they drown. Now I've used the snap traps, you know, the ones where you, the victor traps, they work good but you only catch one mice at a time, one mouse at a time. The plastic ones, uh, the ones where they go in and the trap door closes, I've never had much luck with those. Maybe you have, I haven't. Um, the poisons, they work pretty well but the problem is uh, you know, the owls and the eagles and other uh, animals will get that uh, mouse after he's gone out and died and they'll eat that mouse and they could also die or get very sick. So this works really good and the great part about it is that it resets. So, you know, once the mouse jumps up on here, even after they've eaten uh, uh, quite a bit of that off of there, it'll still work because they try to get down and eat this part on here. So they're sitting on the can balancing and then all of a sudden, bloop, they go in. So uh, after one night, I've caught at least 20 mice in here and it really works great. Uh, I highly recommend that you try this. We've got a pole barn here that I've got uh, deer feed stored in it and the mice get into it and they just love it, it attracts them. So I thought maybe we had a couple of mice. After one night though, I came back, I'm like, holy moly, there are 20 some mice in here. And uh, the great thing is it just keeps on working as more mice come in, uh, it just resets and you're good to go. So try it. I think you'll find that they work really great. Uh, you can make one in about 10 minutes and uh, you're good to go. I'm Robert from Northland Express and this is a better mouse trap. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.